What's up, mi gente? It's your girl, Glamour Puss MD, and today I am going to tell you how to find all of her G spots. If you like my videos, subscribe below, hit that thumbs up button. If you dislike my videos, hit that thumbs down button and tell me why you dislike them in the comment section below. Or you could DM me on Instagram at GlamourPussMD. So let's grab life by the pussy and talk about sex. By the end of this video, you will know where to touch her, how to move, why it works, and of course, my own personal experience. So the first one is going to be, of course, the clitoris. Ah, the almighty clitoris. It is not a myth, I promise you, it's real. Now, this is why masturbation, check out my other videos on masturbation, is so important. If you don't know what you like, do you like fingers on your clitoris? Do you like the palm on your clitoris? clitoris. Do you like it wet? Do you like it dry? Do you like the pressure soft? Do you like the pressure hard and vigorous? Like, if you don't know what you like, then you're not going to be able to communicate that with your partner. On the other hand, if you're the partner and you're not talking, you're just doing and not asking her, do you like it like this? Do you like it like this? Does this feel good? Does this feel nice? Do you want me to go harder? Do you want me to go softer? If you think that asking questions is gonna be unsexy, what? No, that is the sexiest thing you can do. There's only been one guy that I've ever kissed that asked me, if he could kiss me beforehand. Asking questions is so damn sexy. And I still remember that guy, and it was still a great makeout, and I was so grateful that he asked. So yes, ask her. She will be so appreciative that you did. Because if you're going in there with your fingers, and it's wet, and the pressure's soft, and you're going up and down, but she likes it with the palm dry, vigorous, and going side to side, then you're not giving her what she wants. Bottom line, with the clitoris, ask what she likes. Ladies, masturbate so you know. Number two, the vagina. Same applies from before. If you're fingering a girl, if you have a dildo in her, if you have your penis inside of her, whatever it is, you want to be asking her, does she like this? Is this enjoyable? Does this hurt? Are you okay? All of those questions are amazing. And you don't know, maybe she just likes a pinky. Maybe she doesn't like anything in her vagina except for a penis. Maybe she wants two fingers, one finger, three fingers. You have to ask before you do it so that it's still feeling good for her because that's ultimately what you want. You want your partner to feel good sexually and you want you to be the one who's doing that. Within the vagina, right when you go in, it's very shallow, it's not too deep you're gonna find some like ridges. It's gonna feel like a different texture, not smooth, kind of like a little bumpy. And it's at like, if you're going like this towards her stomach, so like this towards her stomach, inside and towards. And so that is one potential G spot. It's actually called the A spot that's in another video. And the last G spot is the cervix. Now, like in all of these G spots, it's very important to be very relaxed and very aroused in order to hit these spots. But basically there could be a G spot on the cervix. And the way to get there is to go deep. Again, this might not feel good for her. If you're going too deep, it actually hurts. So make sure you're communicating all the way through. Now, my own personal experience with my clitoris, my vagina and cervical orgasms is that the first time that I was fingered by a guy, um, it wasn't that pleasurable and I didn't open my mouth to tell him that I didn't really like it. But to be honest, I never really masturbated with my fingers in my vagina. I masturbated on my clitoris. And so what I learned there is that you can actually tell him or her to not go in your vagina, that that's not really what you're looking for. If they could just go over your clitoris or do some other sort of stimulation, like your nipples or your neck, like all of those are great erogenous zones that you can get turned on and orgasm from. 
Usually though, when I do orgasm through sex, it's through vaginal and sometimes a little bit also of clitoral um, stimulation. Not all women are like this. It is a varying degree of how some women orgasm. So make sure you are in constant communication with your partner and what she is liking. I hope you enjoyed this video, whether you did or didn't, like, dislike, comment below, etc., etc. I want to hear from you regardless. Make sure to get dirty and stay safe.